Hello and welcome back to another video made by All Clear Technology. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to access your Mac screen from another Mac. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we need to do is set up the device that we want to be connecting to. So this is the screen that you will see once you've connected from the other Mac. So you just want to make sure that both the Macs are on the same network. And after you've ensured that they are, you can open System Preferences, then you can click Sharing. And then here you want to click on Screen Sharing. So if this has a little blue check mark next to it, it means that it's on. You can just turn it on or off by clicking that little check box there, and it'll go to a white tick. And you can also set some of the settings up here. So I recommend just leaving this as it is on Administrators. But this means that by default, when you go to access the device from another Mac, you'll need to enter an administrator username and password. So I just recommend leaving that, however you can add or remove users down here. You can also click on computer settings here and change a few settings. You can also enable VNC mode and set passwords up there. And you can also see your VNC IP address here, which I have blanked out. So once you've made sure that's turned on, we can now go over to the Mac that we want to view the screen from. Okay, so now we're on the other Mac. In my case, this is just an old iMac. As you can see, it's quite old running Mac OS El Capitan. We're going to now want to open Finder. And you'll need to be on the same network like I said before. And if it works, you should be able to see the other Mac in under shared here. If you don't, you can hold Command Shift K to go to network. Alternatively, you can just go go and then network there. And then what you're going to want to do is double click on the other Mac. So in my case, or Clear Technologies MacBook Pro. And then you're going to see here this option that says share screen. So this would normally say connect, but now that we've turned screen sharing on, we can click share screen. Screen sharing will open. And now it's going to prompt you for your username and password. So this is going to depend on what you've set up. By default, it is an administrator username and the administrator's password. So I'm going to enter this off camera now. And then you can see as soon as you enter the correct username and password, we can now see the Mac. So this is the Mac Pro and this is the iMac. So here we have full remote access, you can say, over the MacBook Pro. And this will very much depend on how reliable the network is. So if there's a lot of devices on it and it's quite slow, it might be a bit laggy and not look great. But if you have a reliable network connection, this should work quite well. So now you've accessed the screen of the Mac from another Mac. We're, there's a few features we can go over. So you can go into either viewing mode or full control mode where you can like click on things. If we go into viewing mode, we can't actually touch anything, we can't click anything, but we can do this here where we can sort of just watch their screen. And it's important, so you can't just really sneak up on anyone to do this because they do get these pop-ups here saying your screen is being observed. And on the Mac here, I can just go and click this little button and I can disconnect the person straight away. Um, obviously all these IP addresses are going to be blanked out, but you would see that there. Some of the other things you can do, copy and paste work. So if I like open Spotlight on the Mac, and we can type something in, I'm just going to type in subscribe. We can copy that, and then back into the MacBook, I can now open Spotlight Search, and you can see me pasting that text in. And copy and paste works both ways. Drag and drop also works. So if I just quickly get a file to drag and drop in. So if I, I so now I have this clip from Ben Sound and we can just drag that here over to the Mac. We're going to see a window here pop up saying file transfers. And we can now see here that we see this audio track. Now the reason you see this 2019 here is just because I have stacks turned on and it's how it's sorting it, but that is the file there. And file transfer of course works both ways, so you can see here I can just drag this out, sometimes it 
This is the most cooperative thing. There you go. And then we can see file transfers pop up again. And we can transfer files back and forth. I'm just going to quickly now delete all of these out. And there you have it. Controlling your Mac from another Mac. Thanks for watching this video made about all queer technologies. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next video.